Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we're super happy to have you here. And if you've been listening and enjoying for a while, I would be super grateful if you would please take a moment to give us a review on Apple Podcasts. It's one of the best and simplest ways to pay it forward and help others find the show so that they too can tap into the powerful perspectives and positive vibrations we are collectively emanating. The other unique and magical way to share this show is by sending any friends you think would benefit from listening to this podcast, our Game with the Universe link at positivehead.com forward slash game, also listed in the show notes, which will serve them up a quote unquote random episode when they click it. Just instruct them before clicking the link to close their eyes for a moment and sincerely Ask the universe to queue up the episode that contains the insight and perspectives that they most need to hear at this point in their life journey, and then click to listen to whatever episode is synchronistically served up to them. I have heard time and time again from people about the incredible results they received playing the game, so just tell your friends, magical results are guaranteed or their karma back. All right, all you positive heads, welcome back to another episode of the Positive Head Podcast. (laughs) I'm your host, Brandon. As you know, if you don't know, now you know. And uh, yeah, here we go again. Just coming off of a long Halloween weekend. And uh, yeah, it was quite, quite an event around my my place around my neck of the woods had um pretty interesting things happen um and yeah just kind of settling back into the flow here recording reaching out connecting with you guys hope you all had really really good uh halloweens and uh and there was lots of magic around there was definitely magic in my world had some cool magic with my son and his birthday and um yeah had had a reading with um colby um colby psychic rebel and uh yeah that was very very interesting for him and uh for me too and uh yeah just getting back down grounded back to earth (laughs) back to normalcy and yeah i'm actually gonna have him on the show we've decided sometime soon and you guys can meet my son he is um definitely more the the adult and I'm more the child so uh <laughs> get a taste of my very mature and put together offspring I don't know where he came from me and his mom are both a little nutty but you know he uh he managed somehow and uh yeah looking forward to that so that'll be forthcoming we're going to record here sometime within the within the week or so so uh introduce you guys to him and um it's been great to have erica on the show uh you'll be hearing more of her I have nixie back hopefully anita back gonna be bringing people on here and there aside from the interviews you know keep me company I love doing the shows alone like I've been doing them, but uh, I also am a very social creature, so it's nice to have um, someone to mix it up with on these daily shows from time to time as well. And I know you guys uh, probably most likely enjoy uh, a little bit of variation and hearing other people's thoughts um, just like I do. So yeah, let's see here. Jumping right into today's episode, I'll start with a couple reviews on iTunes. Uh, you guys know I love getting uh, feedback on iTunes. It uh, helps me to fuel the fire and keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, uh, hearing your thoughts and feedback and that I'm touching your life in any way. Not only does it help me to carry on uh doing this labor of love that is this podcast it also helps me to reach uh, new listeners because um yeah on itunes reviews help you to get uh you know get kind of go up in the ranking so to speak of itunes and if you guys haven't uh, shared with friends family that sort of thing please do so spreading the positivity helping me to spread the positivity this stuff comes back around so yeah keep putting it out there help me put it out there 
you're putting it out there when you share it with someone else and um good things come to those who put out good things i found um let's see here um this one's from mike jx man and he says thanks this podcast has been extremely helpful to me thank you well mike that was short and sweet and uh yeah, thank you for taking the time to to give a review. Um, also, uh, I have Kay Bosey. Uh, Kay Bosey said, this is church. <laughs> Hello, Brandon. I've been listening to your podcast now for a little over a month. I am so pleased with all you're bringing to the table and just want you to know how much I appreciate this podcast. I am currently working on reading a book that you suggested, Conversations with God. And from there, God suggestion, I have started re- reading The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. If you haven't read it, do yourself a favor. I am taking a break from reading it right now only to leave a review here. Ha ha. Listening to the Positive Ed podcast gets me in a great mood and helps me focus on my goals and living my life consciously. Every time I listen, something comes up that directly relates to my life and and it brings me so much joy. This is church for me. (laughs) Little hands uh, held in prayer, uh, an alien face and a smiley face. (laughs) Uh, thank you, Kay Bozy, and uh, so glad you're reading Conversations with God. Uh, right up there is my all-time favorite books. If you guys haven't checked it out, uh, highly, highly recommend it. So inspiring, so empowering. Uh, the Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. I have read that uh, many years ago. Very short but sweet and powerful book. Highly recommend that to the listeners as well. Glad that you uh, you're digging into such great material. All super high vibration. Um, yeah, read those books better than a Harvard education, I would say. And uh, yeah, as far as this being church, um, you saying this is church for me. Uh, that's a funny, interesting comment. And, you know, as someone who went to church my whole life uh, as a child, three days a week, um, sat, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, um, I would agree. This is church for me, too. You know, organized religion, uh, of course, uh, I have nothing negative to say about it. It is there as everything is there for a reason. Uh, any of you that are part of an organized religion a no offense uh disrespect meant although for me having gone through that i now have sort of uh as i would say i i consider myself at this point to be spiritual not religious religion is sort of reading someone else's experience or kind of you know i need to go through this conduit of a character like a christ figure or someone to get to my source to get to god and what uh i believe like for example, if we take Christianity, what Jesus was teaching is exactly what we're teaching on this podcast. So this is church, church for me too. This is what was taught. I think it was misconstrued, misinterpreted when when Jesus would say, you know, I and the Father are one. It's the same thing I'm saying right now. I and God are one. You you and God are one. Everyone is part of the one. But I, I you know, it's when you take people who maybe we're interpreting it a certain way and didn't fully understand the implications. And over time it gets misconstrued and then it gets, you know, sort of uh, doctored up and interpreted and certain things are edited out. And, you know, over time it turns into this sort of, um, uh, I, I would say a misconstrued version of what spirituality is, you know, religion creates separation a lot of times. And I know it's not intentional and I know it's part of the path for many people. And so I have nothing negative to say about it other than um, I think there is something beyond it's, it's more, it's closer to your heart than that. You don't need a conduit to uh, uh, reach uh, your source. And uh, certainly if there's judgment involved or, you know, I don't believe, for example, there's a God waiting to judge you. You'll judge yourself. Um, and uh, that is everything that you put out comes back because everything you put out is every everything you do to another, you're doing to an extension of self. The only rule is all is literally one. So act accordingly. You know, energy must balance itself. So. Yeah, that's my thoughts on church and uh, this being church. And I thought that was an interesting comment. All right, then moving right along. uh, Let's see what I got. I have a positive pondering breakdown of the day. I have a quote here from Rumi. And uh, you've heard Rumi here before. You'll hear Rumi here again. Such an amazing poet you know, inspirational teacher. I mean, going back to the 13th century, I believe, Persian poet. And um, Rumi knew what was up. Definitely, if you look at some of Rumi's inspired, um, you know, uh, poetry and quotes that are taken from his poetry, it's just beautiful. Um, Definitely in touch with Source. And uh, Rumi said in this quote, 
Set your life on fire. Seek those who fan your flames. I love this quote, and I believe it is a uh, very uh, wise statement. Seek those who fan your flames. You know, how often do we mix it up with people who are not fanning our flames, but rather dousing our light? And what, uh, you know, I feel we need to do more and more and more of, and this is something, you know, I referenced the reading my son got this weekend that was really powerful and uh, empowering and Um, One of the things that Colby advised is follow your intuition. If you walk into a room and for some reason you feel off, right? Something feels off. Don't listen to your logical mind that it would be weird to get up and leave. Get up and leave. Start using your intuition. That is your most powerful guide. And if you feel like someone is, you know, dousing your light, not fanning your flames and it feels off, it feels uh, something isn't right, leave, move. Don't, don't mix it up. Don't, don't mix your energy with those who don't fan your flames. There's too many options. There's too many others that are out there waiting to do it. And think of it like uh, you having a certain amount of bandwidth in your life of how many people you can mix it up with. Now, if you fill that, that, you know, um, table of, of cast of characters in your life with people who are dousing your flame, putting your light out, putting you down, not resonating. Your intuition feels off when you're around them. It doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel good. They're keeping you down. Why are you filling your precious time with that? When, uh, really what the opportunity that's there for all of us is to, to, be wise enough and have enough self-love to remove ourselves from those situations and actually free up our a spot at our table with those who will fan your flames. It will come in. If you say, nope, I'm not standing for this. I'm not allowing this. This is not something that is okay with me. I don't have the time or the bandwidth or I have too much self-love to allow someone in my, um, in my movie that is not going to um, feed my soul and fan my flames. I'm going to remove myself from this situation and I'm going to know that by freeing up that space, that time, that oppor- there, there, there's now an opportunity for someone to come in that is a fit. And next thing you know, you're going to look around and you have a cast of cool cats, characters in your story, in your life that are a perfect match that are always fanning your flames. But if we continue to allow those into our story who aren't, uh, and of course they're serving you too, they're giving you an opportunity to have this experience of choosing something different. So, you know, bless bless them thank them appreciate them but but move on you know move remove yourself before we continue on with today's episode i'd like to take a quick moment to tell you about our sponsor talkspace as a listener of this podcast you know it's important to prioritize your mental health and wellness because when you work on yourself you'll start to see and feel positive changes in all areas of your life when it comes to getting help via therapy talkspace makes it super convenient to get mental health care with or without insurance, to fit your needs. The long-term effects of therapy can give you the tools to deal with challenges as they arise and lead to a more optimistic outlook on life. And you don't need to wait until something goes wrong in your life to work with a therapist. Of course, Talkspace is also there to help with any specific challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. Your therapist can help you set and achieve your goals. And as a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com and use code POSITIVE. So to match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com and use the code POSITIVE to get $100 off of your first month. And this particular quote uh, plays perfectly into a little reading I want to do today. I've been reading uh, here and there from a book Uh, Your Illustrated Guide to Becoming One with the Universe by Yumi Sakagawa. And it's an amazing, cool little book with lessons. And we've read the first six. I'm going to read lesson seven and eight today. And uh, yeah, I I highly recommend checking out the book, looking at the book, because it's all these cool illustrations that go with it. And this uh, lesson number seven is set yourself on fire. How perfect, right? Here we go. The universe began as a single spark of light. 
At the core of our existence, we're made of fire and light. But over the course of our lifetime, we accumulate junk and we become imprisoned by it. Right this moment, set on fire the things you no longer need. Start with the small things, your annoyances, your petty grudges, your daily stress, your pet peeves. Watch them light on fire and become bright and beautiful things. Then slowly move on to the bigger things like your painful memories, your childhood angst, your unbearable grief, your heartbreak, your self-hatred and anger at the world. Sometimes your burdens are gods in disguise wanting to be set free so they can dance. What are you waiting for? Set yourself on fire. Dance until there is nothing left to burn. Allow the ashes of your former self to scatter in all four directions of the wind. All that remains is all that you need. Today's assignment from the universe, now that you are no longer burdened by the things that you no longer need, fly to all parts of the universe that you only once dreamed about. Hang out in the stars. Visit a strange new planet. Make friends with other winged creatures. (laughs) That sounds a bit like some astral projection to me. All right, (laughs) moving along. Lesson eight. We are all one interconnected web. We are all connected to everyone and everything in the universe. Are you still clinging on to your excuses for shutting yourself out from the connections that bind you to the rest of the universe? And this shows a little guy sitting in a hole with the the thoughts around him. Life is pointless. Blah, 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 blah. I can't trust other people. I'm afraid. I'm not good enough. I don't want to get hurt again. I hate myself. I'm angry at the world. Right this moment. Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures showing him connecting to the universe over and over in different ways. Like, I can't really read. It's like five pages I flip and it's just cool image after cool image after cool image. Uh, and that was cool. So it didn't, she didn't really say anything there other than lots of images of connections. And it was it's really beautiful and funky and fun. So you got to really see that little segment. But then it goes on to your assignment from the universe. Sit quietly for a moment to feel all the invisible threads that connect you to everyone in the universe. Send loving energy to your family, loved ones, and friends, to your perceived enemies, to all the people in the world in pain, to all the plants and animals on the planet, to everyone on Earth, and beyond the galaxy we live in. Ah, very nice. I like that idea. I like the idea of connecting and consciously connecting And I really like the idea of consciously connecting to all of you listening. We are indeed soul family. Out of all the things coming at at you on this planet, being bombarded with stimulus and, you know, programming and commercials and and TV shows and YouTube videos and books. And I mean, there's so much stuff coming at you. And here you are tuned into this little podcast and resonating with it. And I would say you're resonating with it because we are literally soul family. It's all one, it's all connected, but you think of it as a giant tree. There happens to be branches that are right next to one another. And there are leaves that happen to be right next to each other on that branch. And we are all leaves on the same branch. And, uh, Right now, I love the idea of sending out love to all of you, connecting with you all, connecting from my heart to yours, and think of us all linking up as you as you hear this, send a little thought, take a moment, and send love to every other person that is connecting to this to the show, to this particular episode. So every one of us, the thousands of us that will tune in to this moment as I'm speaking or in your own moment when you're hearing the recording and just take a moment and take a deep breath and close your eyes and send love to every other part of you that is also connecting. And we can all sort of feed each other and give each other our strengths and and um, power and support And by giving and sending energy consciously to one another, we will all feel strength and, um, yeah, just empowered, just empowered. What we give away comes back many, many fold. And what a great way to do it by sending you all love in this moment and consciously connecting with you all. It's like, I feel so empowered and, uh, you, I hope you can feel the, the love and appreciation that I have for each one of you. 
you are doing it. You should be so proud of yourself to be at this point in your journey, in your evolution. So much goodness ahead. You've come so far to do uh, and to get here and to be here. And um, a lot of reward lies ahead. Not that there's not challenge too, but the challenge will uh, have a different perspective when you understand it too is a blessing in disguise. It too is when you set it on fire becomes this beautiful dancing thing. (laughs) This part of self that is set free uh, when you no longer look at it as an obstacle, but uh, you know, uh, challenges are blessings indeed. Well, everyone, it's been a blessing to connect and do this. And uh, I have to pinch myself at the magic that is my life and this um, experience sharing with you all. I hope you all feel uh, uplifted and rejuvenated. And I hope you all can feel the love that I send to each and every one of you. And uh, thank you for the love that you send to me. And until next time, I do have uh, a lovely little tune to leave you with. This is Oni, O-N-Y, and everything is. Yeah.